Special grace of God, let's open to the book of First Corinthians. First Corinthians 11, verse 31. I read read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 31. For if we will judge ourselves, we should not be judged. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We we judge ourselves, we will not be judged. It didn't say now that if we will judge others, we will not be judged. That ourself is referring to. Amen. Amen. Before the topic, by the grace of God, is there anybody among us? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Okay. Is there any of us? that can enter heaven without the mercy of God? Despite you are, you, 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 you walk all over the world without the mercy of God, is there any of all that can enter heaven? No. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So if, for this, the topic before you and me this morning says, no mercy without self-judgment. No mercy without self-judgment. That is to say, like where we read now, told us clearly that we should judge ourselves so that we will not be judged. And who is this referring to? He referred to myself. It not referred to you. And why your own referred to yourself? My own referred to myself. The Lord is telling me now that there is no mercy for me if I refuse to judge myself. If I fail to judge myself. The Lord is telling me, I need your self-judgment. I want you to condemn yourself before me in this part all you are doing. There is no mercy for you. If you fail to judge yourself, the Bible makes us understand in the book of Matthew, it said to me and you that we should first of all remove the Lord in our eye so that we can see clearly to remove others on. That is telling you, first of all, judge yourself. First of all, if recognize that you are a sinner before telling others you are a sinner. It's what I have, I can give out to you. Not what I don't have. If I don't have righteousness, I don't have holiness, I cannot give you holiness. 
what I mean. I know Mark cannot give holiness. In other words, I cannot preach holiness to you when I know myself is a sinner. Anybody that is doing that is an hypocrite. He's just deceiving what? He said. That is why the Bible wants, the, the Lord is telling me and you this morning to first of all judge ourselves if we must come to him in heaven. If he must have mercy on me and you, he wants us to look, sit down, and judge ourselves over that what we thought we are doing for him. That we thought is we are doing it perfectly. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible tells me and you in the book of Luke, Luke 23, 39 to 43. Luke 23, 39 to 43. Let's see what happened in this very passage of the Bible. Luke 23, 39 to 43. Amen. I read it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Verse 39. And one of the male factors which were Hang rails on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us for it. But the other answering rebuked him, saying, Does not thou fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation for the one? And we indeed justly, for we receive the due reward of our deed. But this man had not had done nothing amiss for the two. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into their kingdom for the three. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I said unto thee, Today shall thou be with me in paradise. For the four. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness all over the earth. Amen. God bless you. 243. Amen. Okay. The Bible make me and you to understand where we just read now. At the end, the, 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 the thief told Jesus Christ to remind, remember him in his kingdom. And the Lord said to him, Today you will be with me in my paradise. How come if you find out this man here that Jesus Christ remember in his, uh, 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 that Jesus Christ told this word to, we are having the same issue with the other one. But how come the other one could not was not remembered in the kingdom of God, but was remembered in hell because he failed to condemn himself before God. He failed to justify to I mean he failed to condemn himself, he failed to judge himself, and he forget his own and begin to judge others. He leave all that he has been doing in this world, all the killing and the stealing that he did and start judging Jesus Christ, even his own maker. The Bible tells us this man was remembered. He said to him, are you not afraid to speak this way? We are here suffering for what we did. But this man did nothing. He was condemning himself and Christ was listening to them. Jesus Christ do not answer him any word. If you find out, he always reply, him, okay, today I have seen you. You have condemned yourself. I can see you have already judged yourself. So such a person like you need my mercy. Such a person like you must be forgiven. Who know his error? Who know what he himself has done? Who know what he did was against God? And at the end, he told the master, Master, please, I am sorry. All that he was telling the other one was off for mercy, all for pleading. In another hand, he was telling Christ, I am sorry for all I did. I am sorry I was a fool. And at the end, Christ only replied, Today, I, today I said, you will be with me. In my father's kingdom. And the Lord did it. And today, as you and I is standing here, is with him in heaven. Not because of the work of righteousness, because he knows his error and he condemned himself for it. How will you enter heaven, sister? 
when you are classy, when you are presenting your work before God. How can there be mercy for you when you fail to know your, your righteousness is like a fitting rag before him? How can the door of heaven be open for you when you know who you are? You are, you are not, the Bible makes us understand. When they look for a man to open the sea, they do not see and John start crying. You mean, even in heaven, there is no one to open the sea? If, and if somebody, if those sent in heaven couldn't, was not worthy to open the sea, who are you now on earth? To tell God, yes, I am fit. I am a righteous man. He was the only one. When he said the cry, he said, they, they said to him, don't cry anymore. There is a man who is worthy to be praised. There is a man who can do it. And that man is Jesus Christ. And that is the only one that has the qualification to justify you and me. You and I have no right to justify ourselves before God. There is no mercy for you who that fail to judge yourself before God. If you must not be judged, before God, you need to begin to judge yourself now. It doesn't mean you should, because the word of God said you should judge yourself, then go and see, then I come again and say, Father, I, know, I just go today and stay. No. You want it, want it once and for all. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible makes us to understand in that same book of Luke. Luke 15, with a bloody prodigal song. Luke 15, let's take from verse 17 to 22. I read in Jesus' name, amen, amen. 17. And when he came to himself, he said, How many hired servants of my father have bread enough and to spare, and I perish with hunger? 18. I will arise and go to my father, and will say unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before thee. 19. And I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. Make me as one of thy highest servants. 20. And he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way up, his father saw him and, and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. 21. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight. And I'm no more worthy to be called thy son. 22. But the father said to his servants, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand and shoes on his feet. Amen. The Bible, uh, daughter of God, Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, he, This man have not physically uh, tell his father, I have seen. You see, he, but his father ran to him and kissed him before he started. That is to say, as God, he was seeing him when he was condemning himself. He was seeing him when he was saying, no, I am no more. I will arise and go to my father and tell my father, I have seen. I have done wrong. He even said, I will go and tell you, I want to, I'm not worthy to be called your son. I want to be one of your servants. He didn't say now nah, and say, mm, I will go and pull away those uh, servants in my father's house and, 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 and take over. No. You cannot judge yourself if you are not humble. If you are not humble, you can never judge yourself. Your shoulder, if your shoulder do not come down, if you do not bring down your ego, you cannot condemn yourself before him. You will only be capable of telling God, I do this today. I do that today. I am, I, he, ah, let us, to continue this, let us see what happened in the book of, that's St. Luke, Luke 18, Luke 18, 9 to 14. Luke 18, 9 to 14. Sister, I go. 18, 9 to 14. I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. 
verse 9, and he spake this parable unto Sarah, which trusted in themselves that they were righteous and despised others. Then two men went up into the temple to pray, the one a Pharisee and the other a publican, eleven. The Pharisee stood and prayed thus with him himself, God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are, extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. Twelve, I, I fast twice in the week. I give tithe of all that I possess. Thirteen, and the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto the heaven, but smooth upon his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, a sinner. 14, I tell you, this man went down to his house justified rather than the other. For every other that exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Praise 15. the Lord. Amen. Amen. We, see the, we see what uh, the drama that took place here. This man was telling God what he was doing. And by the grace of God, something... God make me to understand something this morning, which I cry, I pray for God's mercy for. Those of all that are capable of presenting our work before God, listening to what I am going to tell you. When the Lord woke up in the night, and He wants you to pray, and you you fail and go back to sleep. Do you know the how many people die in that your account? I can't agree. When, for example, you woke up in the night, because the truth of the matter, to the glory of God, I want to say this. I, within my heart, around 11 or so, I, within my heart, told God that so so time, I should, I should, I want to wake up. It should wake me up because I want to go into prayer. I tell you, I didn't say with my mouth, but when the time come, I actually, he actually woke me up. But because of one thing or the other, I was not giving myself time again, and I slept. So when I, after this message, this morning, when I was praying, it was done on me. Whenever God woke up at midnight at any time in the night to pray, you find out it sees your sleep. You fail to pray. Do you know how many people die in your account? Do you know how many people was fired? with demonic arrows because you fail to pray. You that is telling God, look at what this man said now. He said, the Pharisee stood and prayed to us with himself. God, I thank thee that I am not as 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 as, as, as other men are, as such an unjust, idolatry, or even as this publican. I fast twice in the week. That your fasting that you are presenting before God now. Do you know whether it's six to six, the Lord expected from you, and you fast six to three? That is why you must not, you must bring down yourself and judge yourself. The fasting that you fasted from six to twelve, do you know whether God was expecting you to take it to three and you fail? This man said, in, in, I fasted twice in, in, in the week. The, the, I give tithe of all that I possess. The tithe you gave. Do you know that you are presenting before God and say, God, if I leave the, if I leave the church, I will withdraw it. Do you even know all the ones you are be paying, how much you are owing God? Why would you not judge yourself before him if, you're, if you must have mercy? I pay tithe for my possession. Are you sure your tithe is even qualified? Are you sure that thing you eh, I am the only person that is cleaning the church? Are you sure the way you clean that church, you clean in the, in the same way you clean your house? 
in your own hands you can enter every corner and make sure there is no dirty but when you are doing the one in the church that little paper the lord expected you to take and you fail do you know that he has condemned you before god it's a question do you know whether the, the Lord expected you to be in the church at five minutes before the trial? And you came ten minutes. Do you know whether you have offended God? Why then now are you failing to judge yourself before him? It is it's a matter. Ask yourself and let me ask myself. That work we are presenting. Come, let me tell you. The evangelism you are presenting before God now maybe the Lord expected you to, to do the evangelism three hours and you do it in two hours in the reason why God wanted to be three hours is because in that other hour that one hour remaining there is somebody that need to be said that he want that he wanted you to stay till that time and you fail and still you came back and said god hey the evangelism was wonderful are you sure it was wonderful are you sure it was okay before god the work you are presenting before god now the lord expected you to go to evangelism three days back and you fail and people that are supposed to be saved have just died because before that death come, the Lord wanted you to talk to them about him. And now they are dead. And you are still thinking you are a righteous man. Heaven is sure for you. When souls are died because of you. Why not you judge yourself now? How clean is your work that you are presenting before God? Among these two people now, who am who, the, who did the Lord said went home as his righteous man? Is, was it the publican or the Pharisee that was presenting his work? That man was having nothing to present, but he only let him, God know that he was what a sinner. You may find that at this person now, this publican man, you may find that, that even the work he was doing was even more than that Pharisee's own. Why not judge yourself now if you must not be judged? The Lord expected you to do go to evangelism twice a week and you only do it once. You are doing it twice. And still you are telling God, hey God, I'll be praying for this thing. It's not forthcoming. You know, I, I, and every time, even in the sun, in the rain, I will carry my bag and go and, and, and be evangelizing. And you have the in power the God to present that work before him. Praise the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. The Bible make us understand about David. If you go to the, if you find out very well, all about David was messy. And this was a righteous man. A man after God's heart. Why would he be a man after God's heart? When everything about him is messy, he never presents his work before God. But mercy, 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 mercy till he leaves. He always knows he's a man, it's a claim before God. And tell God, I have seen. There are many of us who want to enter heaven. We are presenting our work before God. Are you sure that work is a perfect work? I study, I read the uh, I read Bible every day, and the Lord expected you to start to read a ten chapter of the Bible every day, and you are already reading three, and you are telling God now you are righteous. You want to go to heaven instead of always tell God and let God judge, justify you by himself. Ah, today the Lord wants you to fast. And because you see that the, the food that your wife is cooking, 
or the food that the, that bread, how, the, that food that they are selling in that supermarket, and you say, mm, God, you understand, tomorrow I will fast, and the Lord expected you to fast that very day to save people, and you fail, and still you are presenting yourself before God as a holy and a righteous man. When the Lord expected me and you to fast today, and we are in the kitchen eating. Why not judge yourself if you must have mercy from God? The, the, the Pharisee never have mercy. Uh, uh, he never received mercy from Christ because he, ju uh, he, he justified himself. The question to you and me is this. Which part do we belong? Among these two people now, the Pharisees and the publicans. It's a matter of, the Bible tells us, examine yourself whether you are in the law. Judge yourself not to know the part you belong. Ah, Lord, you know I always connect every day. Yes. And you are presenting that before God. Because of that thing you are in need of. That is not forthcoming. The matter of question that we need to ask ourselves. Take a look of David, a righteous man who always condemned himself before God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to ask you now, my brethren, I ask myself, was Daniel a righteous man or a sinner? Was righteous. Yes, sir. Okay. Now let us go to the book of Daniel, chapter 9, 4 to 6, and 10 to 11. Okay, Daniel 9, 4 to 6, verse 4. And I prayed unto the Lord my God and made my confession. I said, O Lord, the great and grateful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him and to them that keep his commandment. Five, we have sinned and have committed iniquity, and have done wickedly, and have rebelled, even by departing from the precept and from the by judgment. Six, neither have we hearkened unto the servant, the prophet, which make we speak in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the father of the land. Ten to eleven. Now. Ten to eleven, verse ten. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws, which we said before us by his servant, the prophet, eleven years. All Israel have transgressed the law, even by the even by departing, departing, that they might not obey their voice. Therefore, the cause is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because we have sinned against him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Our beloved sister answer, as just as we know, Dalia was a righteous man, but he was including himself to them that are seen. He never said, Father, they have seen, but he was included. This part is righteousness and holiness. He was a holy man, but he included himself. And say, Lord, we have seen. We are all together depart from the Lord. We are all together disobey. And then why if Daniel can condemn himself? Who are you there? Not to judge yourself if you must have mercy from the Almighty God. Let us see to it. You want to go to heaven. Why not put your work aside and depend on the mercy of God? And you forget the Bible say it's not all that say Lord will be with me in heaven. Those people that we that we fail to be in heaven are those who say God who. Who, who forget anything that is called mercy? They rely on the word they are doing for God. Go and tell those uh, Omega pastors now. 
tell them you are going to hell. They will tell you, they will, if they have God, they will shoot you. Because if I am not qualified, how come if I throw my, my coat, everybody is on ground? They are presenting their work before God. Sister, do you want God to have mercy on you? Brother, do you want God to show you mercy? Why not judge yourself now so that you will not be judged at that day? Why not thank God now? Why not forget your work and depend on the mercy of God? If Daniel could condemn himself, a person, the Bible say in the in that Daniel one a Daniel proposed in his heart that he will not defy himself, and I didn't see it all true where he really defied himself, but still he was condemning himself along with others. And I am here telling God, God, you see that I have preached from America to Africa. And you see now, I fasted, I prayed 24 hours. You see now, I, I pray from 12 to 8 every day. You see now, I can study 20 chapters a day. Are you sure you are justified by that? Why not allow God to justify you? To run it up? The book of uh, Luke 14, verse 11, and Galatians 6, verse 4. Luke 14, 11, I read in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. For whosoever exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. Amen. And who are those now that are exalted themselves? Those that thank God, Father, we have already got it only. We are already in heaven. You can see, I fasted so many times. My brothers in the law, the reason I don't need to tell me, I don't, I don't have to allow anybody to come to me after singing, after preaching, and say, ah, brother, hey, pastor, or a uh, uh, sister, you, you really sang well today. You really preach well today. The reason is because is it in the same thing in the eyes of God? Are you sure the verse of the Bible the Lord expected it to quote to that person we are preaching to? You quoted it. Hey, you it was wonderful. Are you sure before God the preaching, the singing, or the whatever you did was wonderful before God's eye? Ask yourself. Ask yourself. Are you sure that thing, that way you were really prayer, and the Lord expected you to pray for the nation, and you do not pray for the nation, but you go ahead and pray for the church. And uh, somebody come to you and say, hey, you, you, the prayer you led today was wonderful. In the eyes of God, was it wonderful? It's a matter of question. Yes. That is why we sub, we don't have to allow anybody to tell you, hey, what you did today was wonderful. Sister, I, if I told somebody, finish telling you, go on your knee and, and begin to ask God for mercy. Father, have I seen what I preached today? Was it accurate? The way people are telling me was accurate? Yes. Go and ask yourself. Go to God. The justifier to justify you. Not what man tells me in you. Because of time, Galatians chapter 4 and 6 verse 4. Galatians 6 4. But let every man prove his own work. And then shall he have rejoiced in himself alone and not in order. Mm. And let a man prove himself. He we only rejoice on himself alone and not others. Sister, I have, you have heard. Brother, you have heard and I have heard. 
Now, where do you belong? It's between you and God. Why not talk to God now? If you have recognized where you belong, why not ask God now? Why not judge yourself now before God? Why not tell God now? I mean, why not start presenting your, your case now before Him? If you know where you belong. Don't, do you know that you have been taking commendation for me and you were being commended by me and God was this, uh, was accusing you? Tell God to have mercy on you. If you have been depending on your what you know to do. Lord, you know now, every Sunday I, I always carry my car to go and carry everybody to the church. And you have that in your mind. And God is telling you, you are not doing anything. I cannot see that thing you, are, you thought you are doing now. Talk to God and tell God to have mercy on you. I called that sister, I called that one. Maybe the Lord expected it to call three people in a week among the sister. But you only called two. Are you still, you are still presenting, telling God heaven is sure for you? Why not ask God for mercy? That beggar you, that passed by you, he just came and begged you for money. Because you thought you failed to be in spirit at that particular time to know whether God really wants you to give to him or her. And you fail. And you thought you are still on the right way. Why do I ask God now for mercy? Because the Bible said today is the day of salvation. Thank God you are sorry. Thank God you are sorry. If Dale can say he's sorry, who is me, something not to tell God, I am sorry. If David, the man after God's heart, could ask for mercy all true, who am I not to ask God for mercy? Who are you not to ask God for mercy? The mercy of God took David, Dale, there. Why not also kill yourself into that thing now? into that mercy. Lord, I am sorry. I'm guilty as I have known before now. I'm guilty of all. He sees and knows my heart. Please, Lord, I am sorry. Have mercy on me. I have nothing else to talk of. I will ask you for forgiveness. Pardon me for all my sins. Pardon me for all my iniquity. Hmm. Ask God for mercy. Because that time you bring, you took a K and hit your son, you hit your daughter. Maybe the Lord was expecting you to talk that uh, talk with him or her, with your mouth alone, not with Hiti. Have you not offend God? Anytime you fail to do the one God wants you to do at that particular time, you have just offended him. You have just fed him. That is why we need it's better when before we go to bed after our day will sit down at your at your bed and Begin to present your work that you did that day before God. Hey, Father, I went to so, 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 so supermarket today. I hope I did not sin against you. The way I talk to my children today, I hope I do not sin against you. The way I talk to my husband, my wife today, ah, the life, the food I even cook and give, the way I present it to my husband, to my children, was it the way everything mattered before God? Thank you, Father. Your mercy. Mm. 
In Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray. Amen. Are you out there? You have heard the word. Find out where you belong now. Do you want to? This ones at the, even like this. We we have we we have been following him by his mercy. And today you have heard the word. Why not confess your sin now before God? Why not ask him to forgive you that sin? He's, you can see the prodigal son return. If you can return today, he's ready to accept you. Confess your sin before him and tell him to come into your life. He's ready to do so. And after this, after you have done that, you need further instruction of what to do or for baptism. You can call the men of God on this mountain. His servant is there, Apostle Male, Minister Fedna, Dalian, Matthew, Edwin, and Pastor and Mr. Antonio, and all other ministers within in Nigeria. You can call them. Or if you have a, a, those church, a, church, a church around you that you know they are into holiness, doing as the Bible says, you can go to them for any counseling or baptism, and the Lord will give them the grace to follow you up. As we all pray to do that right now, in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. And our Father, we have heard your word. I know this call for self-examination as you will give us the grace to go and do our individual work on ourselves. Father, I pray that this message will help me and help your children. I pray that this message will not stand against your children nor against me because you speak it to me before you bring it here. Father, I pray in your mercy you will help us or we cannot do it on our own. For by strength shall no man prevail. That grace never to present anything before you. Never to present our work before you, but always come to you with, uh, with self-judgment. I pray for it, Lord, upon myself and on your children in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, I pray. Anywhere I have had it to your world so tattered. Forgive me my sins. Is there anyone that is offended because of the message? Have mercy upon them. And I pray that as we gather in your mercy to hear your word this day, we also gather in your kingdom by your grace and mercy at the last day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father, because you have done that which only you want to do. May your name be praised both now and forevermore. Amen. For in Jesus Christ's mighty name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Almost a God. Amen. Lord, thank you. I bore you. And that year, may not depart from the mouth of God for instruction and the letters, even on 2020, Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Our brother, we had the word this morning. And I pray that God might will grant us. Praise the Lord. This is a mountain of solution and redemption prayer ministry worldwide, aka the Shepherd and the Bishop of Our Souls Ministries worldwide.